Okay, so step one is this is the box we're going to build today. And I'm going to run you through the whole design process. So it's a, a little fishing box where you can for anything opens up and then we'll dial it so it'll close back together. And we'll use the CNC router for cutting out those pockets and for cutting out the shape as well. Okay, so really the first thing you want to do is you want to sketch out the dimensions in your notebook. It should look like this. This is your working drawing, front, top, right side, and then isometric to get an idea of what it's going to look like. This right here is an inside pocket. It's two by four. The outside dimension is five by three. The radius is of that pocket, radius of a quarter inch, and times four being there are four radiuses of quarter inch. Before you go much further, step one is to sketch out your ideas in your notebook. Once you have that sketch, you bring it out to the wood shop. And a couple of things you want to check. If the plan is to cut it out on the CNC router with a quarter inch bit, you need to make sure there's a quarter inch flat end mill bit. Okay? That's a big part of the design. Then the second part of the design process is to make sure you have the right stop. You know, if you decide to make that board, that box, 12 inches wide, you need to make sure you have a 12 inch board to make it out of. So here's my piece of maple. I need five by three, and this will work. So I think the first thing I'm gonna do is five inches long. So I'm actually gonna cut it at about a foot. And I'm kind of looking for knots and stuff. Remember this piece of wood is surfaced on three sides. So that means only my surfaced edge could go against the fence on my top side. So I'm gonna cut it at a foot. Once it's cut at a foot, I need to rip my other edge parallel to this edge. Right blade's about a quarter inch up over the wood. I'm going to start left hand holding it this way. I can left hand hold it and grab the twist it. Okay, so now I have my piece of wood all prepped for the CNC router and it's all going to work. You want to leave it a lot longer so when you put it down on the CNC router you have room to screw it down. Okay, we have our sketches done. Then we have our sketches in our notebook all done. And then we've prepared all of our wooden stock, and made sure the CNC router is ready to go. So now we're going to do our CAD drawing in Inventor 2013. We're going to create a new part file. It's a standard part. And this is very important. We need to draw it in the XY plane and extrude it back into the, into the Z. So I select my XY plane and create a rectangle starting at the origin. I go over five, three, and once I've done that, I need to extrude it back into the Z plane. I'm going to finish the sketch, and I'm going to extrude it, not this direction, but the opposite direction, back in, and the wood is three, three quarters of an inch thick. Then I need to create my pocket on the front. I'm going to create a 2D sketch, select the front face. Um, I think I'll do this with an offset, a lot of ways to do it. I'm going to offset this rectangle in. I'll just snap it anywhere. OK, select a dimension. This dimension is a half inch. So there's an offset. Then what I'm doing from there is I need to fillet it, or quarter inch fillet, so set that at 0.25. So this is all filleted. Okay, then now I'm going to extrude this back into the board. If I need to finish the sketch, extrude. This time I'm extruding this face back into the board a uh, half inch and there's a pocket okay then I'm going to create a new TD sketch back on this front plane and drill my holes I need construction lines to know where those holes are so we're going to do that with the rectangle start up here and we go over 3 8 so we go over 3 8 0.375 a quarter, same thing here, 
three eighths and a quarter. Three eighths and a quarter. And finally, my last construction line for my holes. The dowels are going to go in here. We'll go 0.375 and a quarter. Okay, finish that sketch. And this time I'm not going to extrude those holes down because I don't have a circle drawn. I'm going to create a hole. I'm going to create a hole that is going to be a half inch deep, quarter inch wide, and I just select that point where to drill a hole. So those are the four holes. And then there's my part. I could use my 3D mouse. Look at it. I'm going to save that part, copy and paste it. And it'll be the same as the other part because the top and bottom are the same. Okay, well that's the inventor file. You can create a working drawings off of that, DWG.